Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on the addition and subtraction of algebraic expression, we will look at some of the questions. Question number one, what should be added to x squared plus xy plus y squared to obtain 2x squared plus 3xy? So in this question, we have to find out, let's say this is one expression which is given. So what is that expression which should be added to this expression such that the result is 2x squared plus 3xy. So you basically need to find out this question mark that is this expression. So in order to find out this expression what you would do you just move this entire algebraic expression towards this side and we know that whenever we transpose a value whether we transpose a constant or a variable from one side to another the sign changes. That means if we are trying to find out the value of this question mark then this is going to be equal to 2x square plus 3xy which is this term minus x square plus xy plus y square. That's because on the left hand side this had a positive sign. The moment you shift it to the right hand side this would carry a negative sign. So therefore we basically need to find out the difference between these two expressions. So let's rearrange them 2x square plus 3xy minus x square minus xy minus y square. Now let's collect the like terms together that is 2x square minus x square together plus 3xy minus xy this together minus y square. So 2x square minus 1x square. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So this would be 1x square plus 3xy minus 1xy. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So this would be 2xy minus y square. So x square plus 2xy minus y square would be the answer. Question number 2. What should be taken away from 3x square minus 4y square plus 5xy plus 20 to obtain minus x square minus y square plus 6xy plus 20. So that means you are given an expression 3x square minus 4y square plus 5xy plus 20. So you are asked that what is that number which should be subtracted from this expression. So this time you are subtracting some number from this expression so that you get something like this minus x square minus y square plus 6xy plus 20. So we have to find out the value of this question mark. So in this case, let us say that if we move this question mark to this side and if we move this entire term to this side or if we keep the question mark here and if we move this entire term to this side, then what would happen? So basically, if you keep the question mark here, but the question mark will have a negative sign. And if you shift this entire term, so this entire term has a plus sign when it is on the left hand side, but the moment we will shift it to the right hand side, what would happen? The plus sign would get changed to the minus sign. So this would be minus 3x square minus 4y square plus 5xy plus 20. But this would be minus question mark, but we need to find out the value of the question mark. So that means you need to shift this minus sign also this side. So the moment you shift this minus side here, what happens? The result, the, the sign of the result also changes. Correct? So what happens? So let us assume, if we assume that this entire value is A and this entire value is B. Let us assume that. So that means we had A minus B on the right hand side. But the moment you shift this negative sign, this side, so you get minus A minus B, which is equal to minus A plus B. So basically A minus B becomes B minus A. So in this case, that is what we need to find out. So we basically need to find out B minus A. So B is 3x square minus 4y square plus 5xy plus 20 this entire thing minus minus x square minus y square plus 6y plus 20. So let us rearrange the terms by opening the brackets. So we get 3x square minus 4y square plus 5xy plus 20 plus x square 
plus y square minus 6 x y minus 20. So let us collect all the x square terms together 3 x square plus x square minus 4 y square plus y square again my plus 5 x y minus 6 x y plus 20 minus 20. So 3 x square plus 1 x square would be 4 x square minus 4 y square plus y square would be minus 3 y square because minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Again plus 5 x y minus 6 x y would be minus 1 x y because plus 5 minus 6 is equal to minus 1 plus 20 minus 20 would be 0. So therefore we see that 4x square minus 3y square minus xy this would be the result. Question number 3. From the sum of 3x minus y plus 11 and minus y minus 11 subtract 3x minus y minus 11. So first of all we need to find out the sum of these two expressions. So 3x minus y plus 11. This is one expression plus minus y minus 11. So how do we find the sum? We rearrange the terms first of all. So this is how we rearrange. Let's bring the same uh, the, the like terms together. So 3x minus y minus y plus 11 minus 11. So this would be equal to 3x minus y minus y would be minus 2y plus 11 minus 11 would be 0. So 3x minus 2y would be the sum. Now what we have to do from this sum we need to subtract 3x minus y minus 11. So this was the first part. So in the second part what we do from the sum that we get which is 3x minus 2y we subtract 3x minus y minus 11. So here also let's rearrange the terms so we get 3x minus 2y minus 3x plus y plus 11. So therefore here again you place the like terms together 3x minus 3x minus 2y plus y plus 11. So th plus 3x minus 3x would be equal to 0 minus 2y plus y that would be minus y plus 11. So 11 minus y would be the final answer. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.